Okay, so now we're gonna go into the main menu. So you either need to have your kickstand down or you need to have uh, this in the off position. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the ASR and the ready button at the same time. We are gonna pull at the same time the ASR button and the ready button. So we're gonna hold those at the exact same time. That's gonna take us into the menu and now we're on B. So now that we're in this setting, I'm gonna just show you real quick what happens if you get out of it. So there's 10 seconds uh, if you're not touching any of the buttons, it will reset. You just pull the ASR and the ready button, which will take you right back in. And in order to get through this menu, uh, using the left ASR button is gonna cycle through all of the options that you have. So let's get back to B and then you're gonna use the right ready button to cycle through those. So uh, this is your break regen, so on break, how much regen do you get? And it goes one through five. So you just keep cycling right through. Uh, zero would be nothing. So when you pull the break, no regen. Uh, I like to have mine on two. So if we hit the left ASR button, that's gonna get us onto the next one. E, this is gonna be regen, so how much Regen you get off throttle. And then again, this can get cycled to off or one through five, one being the least, five being the most. And again, I like mine on two. A is gonna be your ASR setting. So this is traction control. You can change it from here or from the ASR button on the left-hand side. I personally don't use ASR. So again, P is just brake override and uh, zero would be so that it would be as if you cut your brake wire, so now there's no reason to cut it, and one would be so that it would be on, so when you pull your brake, uh, you can't activate throttle, so I like mine in the off position. C is going to be tilt switch, so this is when you lay the bike over. Um, it's gonna cut throttle to where you'd have to hit the ready button again, so I personally like it in the off position, um, I recommend that you keep it in one where it's on, so if the bike were to fall over and you pick it up, you don't whiskey throttle it picking it up. F is going to be throttle sensitivity, so there's one, two, and three. I personally like it on one. Uh, that's going to be the least amount of throttle sensitivity. T is just diagnostic report. Uh, don't worry about this. This is more so if you were having a problem, you could diagnose it uh, with Suron. So zero is off, one is on. And L is crawl mode. So this is your different modes in basically traction control, which again can go one, two, and three. So I just leave it in one. I don't use traction control. So U is going to be for charging, and this is going to be how fast the bike charges. So 1 is going to be the least, 2 is going to be in the middle, and 3 is going to be the fastest charging speed. So I just leave mine in 3. And then we've wrapped back around to B. So let me change this back to 2 where I like it. So again, that's the settings and how to get through everything using the 2025 Ultra B. And then if you just don't touch anything, or you could just simply turn the key off and turn it back on, but now you can see we've gotten back out of that main menu. So hopefully this helped you guys. All right.